Welcome back to Worth the Effort Woodworking. For today's tip, I want to talk about one aspect of most modern lathes that people just totally ignore. You see, there are a lot of times, whether it was that when you are learning to turn, you didn't really practice a lot of ambidextrous skills so you can rotate between your hands. And if you're like me, you've been doing this for a while, there's some aspects that just aren't very comfortable doing left-handed or right-handed. I'm in this situation right now where I'm making a mushroom and I've got it undercut on the inside. And to do it my normal way, I'm kind of coming in at a weird angle. So, let's take at, uh, advantage of one aspect of modern day lays that a lot of people totally forget. Let's figure out how to switch hands. Simply move my tool rest back. This is in the chuck. Let's just totally reverse my banjo. And then move around to the other side. You see, modern day lathes, most of them have an ability to turn backwards. So I can now come at it at this, at this angle. A lot more comfortable, my hands away from the bark, and I feel a lot safer coming from this side. For today's bonus, I want to talk about a book. And this is one of the books that kind of really changed my woodworking. Because when I first got into it, it, was made, it wasn't really YouTube, because YouTube wasn't really out at the time, but a lot of people were blogging. And I got to following a lady by the name of Carrie Holtman, which just, she boggled my mind with how she could pick up new skills and just kind of seemingly master them. And now I understand that she was just putting a lot of time into it, because this was her hobby and stuff like that. But she made really exquisite tools. And... She was the reason why I started making a lot of planes. Now, this is a design that I want to say I came up with, and I may, I've made a couple hundred of them, and I will probably make them in the future. But this design was heavily influenced by this book, Making and Mastering Wood Planes by David Finch. And unfortunately, it has been out of print for many, many years now, and on the used book market, it was kind of expensive because... He really does go into some advanced details on how to make and tune up a Krenov style wooden plane, a laminated style wooden plane. And just the tips and techniques all through it are really great. And the reason why I'm announcing it now is because I just learned it is being put back into print. Lost Art Press is, pretty, is going to be doing a small run of these, so you might want to check it out. I, would, I highly recommend this book. Making and Mastering Wood Planes by David Finch. I will tell you, this is my second version because I wore out the first one.